Hi Leo, this is Mary Shane with Channel Suloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now or what you need to hear from me right now. Leo's out there. Someone on rising Venus. Leo's out there. One last time. Just once again. Alright. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Leo's out there. All right, your first card is this one. We've got the hangman energy. It seems like um, things are pretty much stagnant right now. Okay, there could be some kind of a delay. All right, uh, someone is thinking things through. Okay, there is some kind of a confusion. Okay, the head is up in the clouds, kind of like, you know, everything is scattered. There is this energy about uh, taking a step back and thinking things through. All right. You're looking at the seven of cups energy along with the seven of wands energy. So there is this energy about, you know, um, being guarded, stepping back. Okay, I, I get this energy about needing the space. Okay, just to think things through. Yeah. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Scorpion energy, or a Leo energy. You're trying to manifest something, okay? You're trying to think things through before you execute, before you action it. Take things forward. That is why, you know, it, it's like, you know, the catapult effect. You know, you, you need to pull it back before you release. So that, that's how I feel like you're stepping back before you jump forward. Okay, because right now your head is, you know, uh, foggy. It's, it's just clouded right now. So you, you want to just take a breather. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is this energy about moving forward. Because if you look at that hangman energy, it's pretty much in limbo. Well, then six of wands is all about, you know, success, victory, taking things forward. Okay, so you're thinking things through, as simple as that. You are thinking things through. If you look at this card, the, uh, the person, you know, they're pretty much in limbo, but their head, there is a halo around their head. So it is pretty much ticking. Okay, it is working. So you're thinking it through. Let's move on. You want to have a clear perspective about where you're going with this. You might have some kind of a plan. Some of you might be having some kind of a plan where you need to decide how do I move about this. Moving on, Leo's answer. What is your next card, please? You got a death card? I'm trying to see which is the second card though. You're right. You got two cards, that's your second card. <laughs> Chariot energy, very interesting. Along with the Ace of Swords, exactly. They wanted me to pull out both the cards as your second card. All right, and then we have the Death card, along with the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, beautiful. Uh, so, uh, like I said, okay, this is a brilliant combination to come through, okay, right after the Hangman. Because I spoke about being in limbo. There is no woman very much stagnant in one place, okay, doing nothing. Then we have this energy, like I mentioned the catapult, okay, you jumping forward. You can see the chariot. Once you figure it out, once you have that breakthrough in your, you know, have that clarity in your head, once you figure it out, which is the eyes of swords, you know, you're going to take charge, you will understand where exactly, because when I showed you that seven of cups, it's, it's like your head is scattered all over the place. There is no clarity. 
But once, when, when you figure it out, you know exactly where you're going. Okay? You're in charge of the wheel. Okay? You, you, you're going to bring things back on track. You know exactly where you want to go with this. When I showed you that two of wands behind the deck is all about, you know, something which you're manifesting, having that vision of the future. This is exactly where you're going. Okay, some of you might already be in the process of taking things forward. Some of you might still be in this hangman situation, figuring it out. How do I go about this? You know, planning it out, having that blueprint. Yeah, uh, we've got the death card along with the Knight of Cups. Uh, death card is again about transition. Okay, stepping into a new phase, leaving behind the past, all that. Some of you, because with that Knight of Cups, it's again taking things forward. Some of you might be deciding to take it to the next level. If it's a relationship situation, some of you might be deciding, you know, I'm going to take things forward. I'm going to offer this to this person. You know, there is something about taking things forward. Your reading is all about how do I go about this? How do I take things forward? Okay. Exactly, with that Six of Pentacles, it's about initiating. So some of you are deciding exactly how to go about things. Six of Pentacles is a giving, uh, you know, give and take energy. Uh, you know, there is an imbalance here. Only one person is uh, giving and then the other person is taking. So it's, it's like someone has to step forward to offer this. Okay, to offer this Knight of Cups. So there is a definite transition which is happening and that is what you're thinking through. Okay. Lovely. Uh, some of you might be decide, um, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy, Taurus energy, uh, Scorpion energy or an Aquarius or a Pisces energy. Wow. All right, Leos, what is your... Uh, yeah. You have been contemplating this... For some time, Two of Pentacles is like weighing out your options, weighing things through, you know, um, yeah, just just contemplating, all right? Again, a Capricorn energy. Uh, we've got the Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, so this is all about taking things forward, you know, letting go of the past and, uh, you know, a definite transition is happening. Some of you might be moving places, okay? Relocating as well. Traveling. All right, what is your next card, Leo's out there? Uh, the kind of energy which I'm getting from your reading is very, very slow. Okay, it's, it's, it's like overthinking. Because so far, the card, it's, it's like, you know, going around in circles, saying the same thing over and over again. So it's just not me. We got the Knight of Wands. You're very passionate about this. Okay, your next card is this one, though. We got the three of wands. Wow. Okay, so it, it, it's about uh, and the page of wands. Someone, uh, someone is deciding to um, page of wands is a messenger energy. Okay, to reach out. Again, because you see there is potential. You want things to come through. You know, uh, because much of it is somebody who's waiting for ships uh, for the ships to return. So there is this energy about giving. Okay, because Six of Pentacles, again, the Knight of Pentacles is again offering something, initiating something. So someone is, uh, you know, sending out a message or reaching out to the other person and waiting, waiting for things to come through. So you might have already initiated, okay, you've thought this through, you've initiated, now you're waiting. So it's like a step-by-step a step -step process. Yeah, you've reached out already. Knight of Wands, very passionate energy. Again, with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands, you've gone through full force. Now you're waiting. Okay? This has to do with your stability, with your security, with your future. You have this vision, this has to come through. Okay? Because it's, it's just not one-sided. It's a two-sided story. So somebody else has to reciprocate for you to manifest that future which you're aiming for. All right, some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy. All right. Leo's out there, what is your next card, please? 
Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. Leo's under. What is your next card, please? You're very stressed out about this whole thing. Some of you might be losing your sleep over the situation. I just saw the Nine of Swords. We've got the Five Swords. It seems like, uh, you know, people are not on the same page, but you're not giving up. Just not willing to give up yet. All right. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. Leo's under. What is your next card, please? This one. We have a wheel card. Which speaks about taking things forward. Again, turning the wheel. Okay? Uh, page of Cups. That's that's not nice. Uh, again, uh, with the Sun card. All of a sudden, I always say... Um, there might be a child energy which is involved. Hmm? Which is interesting. Some of you might be deciding whether, um, yeah, this is for some of you out there, okay, maybe one person out there who's deciding whether we should keep the baby or not. Something to do with a child. If it was an accidental pregnancy, some of you might be deciding what to do about this, okay? There is a definite energy about moving forward. Not giving up because when I uh, when I, uh, when they showed me the fire sword, it's it's like even if initially people are not on the same page, now it's 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 like you know not giving up. Sankara is the most beautiful card in this deck. Okay, it's about new beginnings. But before that was a page of cups. So there is a childlike energy about this. You know, it's, 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 it's uh, something which is starting off. Okay. It, it's like the cycle has just begun. That kind of energy. What is your last card, please? Oh, again, the two of cups. Long wow. Sorry, I got excited for you guys. We got the two of cups along with the lover's energy, along with the ace of wands. Someone is coming through. Okay, this uh, oh, oh, again. When I spoke about the page of cups, it could be a budding relationship. Okay, this, this is something very new. But yet, someone is deciding this is what they want. Okay, they have thought this through. Now they're taking charge. The other person has to reciprocate. Okay, and you know, moving forward with it. Taking the, you know, it's a wheel of fortune. It's, it's like, you know, deciding this is what I want. Taking things forward. Okay, someone is deciding to offer that. Where is that Ace of Wands? Wow. Well, all right. Someone is deciding to offer this commitment. Okay, something solid. The Lover's Energy as well as the Two of Cups. I don't know where the card is now, but yes, there was a Two of Cups. Uh, so there is a commitment coming your way. It could be for the Cross Watcher. Uh, Leos could be, you know, the ones who's offering it or somebody is offering to the Leos. Whatever it is, uh, there is some kind of a connection coming, coming through, okay, and a solid one. And it could be something which is very new, like someone who's, you know, whom you just met or you haven't met them now, you might be, okay. You're deciding to work it out. And there is this energy about um, going slow. Maybe some of you might be waiting on this person to come through with this, you know, offer of commitment to make it exclusive. 
Yeah. Let's see where it goes. That kind of energy. That kind of energy. And I want to say this, this connection has a lot of potential. When I'm looking at the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, hold on to it. Put in the work. Okay? This could grow into something beautiful. Has a lot of, lot of potential. So try to make it work. Did I already pull out the fifth card? One, two, three, four. Just pull one more card. Ooh, we've got the seven of swords and the four of pentacles. Ooh, ouch. Ten of swords. Seven of swords. Ooh. All right. Uh, give me a moment. Um, I don't know if this is the person or some of you might be going through some kind of a betrayal, some kind of an ending, and you're still holding on to that. You know, it's still fresh, maybe. Because I did not even start shuffling before they showed, showed it to me. So someone might have uh, felt betrayed within a connection in the past. Okay. Uh, things have come to a complete dead end. With that ten of swords, it's like ten swords on your back. You know, it was harsh. Yeah. And the seven of swords, that's, that's like a deception. That's like a betrayal. Along with the ten of swords, way too much. Okay. Uh, it just made you feel dead from inside. You don't believe in another love story. Yeah? So the, uh, 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 when they showed me the Four of Pentacles again, it's it's like you still hold that close to your heart. You know, what had happened in the past. So somebody, uh, if somebody comes up with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands, you will doubt it, okay? This, this is like, you know, something, like I said, something beautiful is coming your way, but exactly, you will, you are still crying over the past, the spilt milk, okay? So when this six of wands and uh, yes, uh, the future, dude, uh, so it, it, it's like you will overthink this, Okay, you would compare it to the past, whatever got fucked up. You're going to compare it. You, you will wonder if, you know, it's, it's, uh, if history is going to repeat for itself. Every person who comes comes by is not going to be so shitty, okay? Give it a chance. Maybe this is the one who is meant for you. All right. We, we still, I think you don't need a last card. Ah, uh, because I see you it, it's like, if you ask me, you should take things forward with this person. Okay, with this new person. With this page of cups energy. Because there is so much potential within what they're offering you. Even if it is small right now. Even if it is just a friendship right now. Test it out. Okay, just, just start somewhere. You will soon forget what happened to you in the past. Because this person is solid enough. Alright? So if you might be dealing with an Aries or Libra or a Leo person. Just one card please. Just one last card please. Leo's out there. One last card. This one. Justice. Exactly what I was speaking about. Just give this, give this a chance. Because this could be the one. Yes. Okay, this is what is meant for you. Justice will be served. This is what you deserve. So just give this one one chance. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Libra. This could be meant for you. 
Okay, from the looks of it, it isn't meant for you. Uh, don't overthink it. See where it goes. Okay, again, at, at, at the end of the day, it is your decision to back out or move forward. Okay, but just give it a chance to see what kind of a person is this. And that's it for now. This is my channel to look at. Until next time, bye bye.